First things first, I'm going to take my Urban Decay eyeliner and I'm going to tight line my upper and lower water lines. And then I'm going to take some black face paint and I'm going to trace out the holes for my eye sockets. And then I'm going to fill in my eyes with black face paint, but I'm going to leave the center of the eyelid and the center of the under eye blank because I'm going to put some orange eyeshadow there. Then I went ahead and set that black paint with some black eyeshadow. Moving on to the rest of the face, I'm going to fill in everything with white face paint. The technique that I like to do for filling in large surface areas is to apply little sections at a time with a paintbrush and then blend it out with a makeup sponge. For this particular look though, I want to leave my temples and the hollow parts of my cheekbones blank. Now I'm going to start curving out my jawbone and my temples. You want to create a curve going up on the lower part of the jawbone and a curve going down on the upper part of the jawbone. And then create kind of a half circle to cut out your temple. You want to do the same thing to both sides and then I picked up my Morphe 12P palette and I started pressing the colors into my skin. I placed them kind of randomly and I just picked up one color at a time and pressed it into my skin. I didn't swipe because I didn't want to move the white face paint so just pick up one color at a time in kind of a rainbow sequence and push them randomly into your face on all of the white areas. When you're done, it should look like this. And then jumping real quick to our eyes, I'm picking up that orange color from the Morphe 12P palette and I'm placing that all over the lid and the center of the under eye and I'm blending that out with the black. Picking up some black face paint, we're going to start tracing out the bones on the face. You want to trace out that jawbone and kind of taper it off, releasing pressure as you go into towards your mouth. And then you want to trace the remainder of the skull and then fill anything outside of the white face paint with black. Taking that brush with some black face paint, you want to start from where those two jaw bones connect and you want to start fading that in towards the mouth. Taking some black eyeshadow, I'm going to start filling in the opening of that mouth just a little bit more. I'm also going to start shading around the edges, so the edges of the jawbone and around the eyes, etc. <laughs> I was 
out of frame, but I also drew this little shape onto my nose. And everything I did to one side, I'm going to do to the other side. Taking this shimmery copper color on the bottom right of the Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to pack this all over my lid. It's going to give it this beautiful shine. And then I'm also going to blend that out with those black and orange colors that were already on top of our eyelid. With a small brush and some black face paint, we're going to start doing the teeth. The first thing I did for the teeth was draw lines up and down all the way from one cheek to the other. And then once I had the teeth lined up, I kind of curved the root of the teeth so that each individual teeth kind of resembles a Hershey's Kiss. And then I took some black eyeshadow and I shaded between every single one of those teeth. Now time to start on our body. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take some white face paint and fill in the spinal cord, the ribs, the collarbones, the shoulder bones, all the bones that should be on the upper part of your torso. I'm gonna draw those in. Then we're going to fill in all of those bones with white. And then just like how we did with our face, we're going to take some rainbow colored eyeshadow and push them into all of the white parts. The only thing you have left to do for your eyes is to create a winged liner and pop on some lashes. I used the Ardell Demi Wispies. And then to finish off your body, just outline all of the bones with black and then fill in all of the remaining areas with black. I'm adding some darker shadows to the ribs that should look like they're in the back. And then I'm also adding other shadows to all the curves and all the edges of the bones. All you have to do is throw on your wig. And that is all for my colorful skeleton look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did so that I know that you liked it. Also, thank you so much for joining me for 31 days of Halloween. I'm really happy with how everything came out. If you've been following all of my looks for 31 days of Halloween, comment below which look was your favorite. And again, thank you guys so much for all the love and support throughout this past month. I la 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 love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye This reference. Oh, hi guys. Doesn't work too good. Maybe you feel nice. Maybe your sister joined back to the group. I never put the group. I like the way you work it. I'm about to bag it up.